So No Limit Hold'em, it's considered the Cadillac of poker. I mean, it's the game you see played on TV, and it's also considered the game that requires the greatest amount of skill. There are lots of things to think about in each hand, you know, bet size, pot odds, whether you should bluff or, you know, whether you should give up. One of the biggest decisions you'll be forced to make in a hand in No Limit is whether or not to value bet a marginal hand or check and take what's already in the middle. I see a lot of novice players make the mistake of betting hands on the river that will only get called by a player who hasn't beat. That's what's called a negative EV play. I hate that word, but sometimes you gotta say it. For example, let's say that you have a strong starting hand like pocket queens, but the final board reads ace, king, 10, uh, nine, eight with three spades. Your opponents check to you and on the river, you've decided you think your queens are the best hand, so you bet half the pot. Here's a problem with your bet. What will your opponent call a bet here with? If he has an ace, he might call you, or maybe even a pair of kings. He'd at least call you with a straight, but will probably check-raise you if he's made a flush. In this situation, it's almost a certainty that if your opponent calls your bet, you're going to lose the pot. So then why bet? You shouldn't, and that's the point. Unless you're making your bet as a bluff, hoping that you can force your opponent to fold a better hand, betting your queens would be an absolutely terrible play. This isn't the time to be making a value bet, because there is no value, you see. Let's look at a slightly different situation. Let's say this time you have pocket jacks and the flop comes... Queen, three, deuce with two hearts. Your opponent checked the flop and you bet it. Now the turn card comes at 10 and once again your opponent checks while you bet. Now the river card comes, the four of hearts, and your opponent checks again. Now, even if you think your jacks are the best hand, you should still check. Your opponent could have the queens, and if if not, he could have made a flush or a straight on the river and is looking to check raise you. Once again, this is a situation where you'd have to ask yourself, Where is the value in betting? I mean, what type of hands will your opponent call you with? There aren't too many hands your opponent will call you with that you can beat, but there are several hands that he's either going to call or raise you with. So in this spot, you'd be much better off protecting what's in the middle by checking. What do I mean by protecting? Well, what if you were up against a really tricky or advanced player and he does check raise you on the river? Well, you're probably going to have to fold, which gives your opponent a chance to actually bluff you. If he happens to put you on a marginal hand, he may see your bet as an opportunity to steal the pot away from you. Don't give him that chance. Now, while it may seem as though I'm suggesting that you should only bet the river when you have the absolute nut hand, that's simply not the case. However, before making any bet on the river, you need to be thinking about the following things. First, what are the chances that I have the best hand? Next, think about what does my opponent likely have and what are the chances that he's going to call a bet? And finally, what are the chances that my opponent is setting a trap for me as planning a check raise? Ask yourself these three questions each and every time you find yourself at the river with a marginal hand. That will go a long way in helping you make sure that your value bets actually have some value.